Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the second Excel 2010 VBA tutorial. In today's topic, I'm going to walk through um, the recording of a macro and we're going to use absolute references for, for this uh, macro and then in tutorial number three, I'm going to show you um, the way to use um, uh, relative references which comes in a lot more handy so uh, make sure you uh, tune in to tutorial number three also. So with that said uh, I've got my personal macro workbook opened up here. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new uh, sheet here, a new workbook and I've got that open. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to show you, I'm going to uh, make a macro. I'm going to import these addresses which is a list of street number and street names here. Okay, with that said, I'm going to go ahead into the developer tab and I am going to hit the record macro button here and I'm going to call this, uh, we're going to go ahead and call this ABS macro for absolute and I'm going to go ahead and I'll give it a shortcut of A, control shift A, we'll execute that. Okay, well, I already got something assigned to that key. Let's just do uh, L. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and bring in that data. I'm going to go to data, get external data. I'm going to get it from text. And I am going to go to that folder. I have it in the temp directory. And let me go find that directory. There it is. And there's my address file. Um, you might have to go here and change it this little pull down that might default to actually in this one it will default to text so, um, so it should since we're importing a text file if you're opening it or you're um, you know you're opening it from scratch using file open into a document you're gonna have to change that to make sure it reads all files so I'm gonna leave it as delimited and it is set up to um, bring it in with uh, with uh, delimiters as the tab key which as you can see works out fine there because um, there is a tab between the number and the street name and I'm going to go ahead and click finish and I'm going to go ahead and bring it in okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording and I am going to um, show you how to re-execute it here I'm just going to open up a new sheet and now if I want to if I made it control shift L correct so it'll bring it in just like that. So a couple quick things. Uh, you might want to edit your macro. All right, this is a pretty basic one, but uh, um, you can do that a couple of different ways. You can go into the developer tab again, go to macros and go to absolute macro. And over here you can edit it. Now you're in the explorer here and it will automatically go to your um, macro that you're going to edit which is nice because sometimes you have to kind of sift through these and search through these other options here so you can see a couple things here right it's an absolute macro uh, keyboard shortcut control shift L here's the file that I'm that I'm uh, importing All right, so I could go over here and, um, and change any of these things if I want to so for example if I was editing this macro I wouldn't have to go in, if I had a new file that I was going to import I wouldn't um, need to go create a new macro from scratch I could just go here for example and let's call the file new addresses as an example and then I'd go up here and hit save and that's how you would edit that macro that goes the same thing for any formatting um, ranges uh, like here you know we're on cell A1 um, so you can change any of those things um, I didn't really do any formatting here, um, but typically, you know, you'd see if you saw text in here, you'd see, uh, you know, is it is it bold, is it, you know, um, italicized, or, or whatever the case may be. So that's what I want to share with you for tutorial number two. Uh, make sure you tune in for tutorial number three, where I'm going to talk about using relative references and macros, which is um, going to be a lot more applicable to most of the macros that you'll want to create. Thanks, take care, and please subscribe.